Hello, this is Hannah Eubanks at Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And we are at the end of day two on this installation. My mom didn't come and check in yesterday, so you guys can talk to her about that, but I'll let you know what we did. Um, yesterday, we just about finished placing a majority of the boulders. You can come here, mom. Um, and then we also started staging the larger plants. So we planted uh, this euphorbia here. We scavenged and found this cactus. What is it again? Mer yeah, Martillo cactus from Susan. And then, yeah, so basically the same idea that my mom has. We staged the larger plants and then worked from there. But everything has been changing and evolving throughout the days as we go. Um, oh yeah, today my dad also finished with the irrigation. Cullen, could you turn it on? It's on sprayers. We figured that it'd be really difficult to run micro lines to all of the plants, considering we have all the, the different elevations and whatnot. So let's turn on the irrigation. <laughs> yeah. See, everything gets hit. And I think we're really only going to do about a minute at a time. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. So then today, today was really fun. My dad brought in more rocks, so we were able to flesh that out a, a bit and um, start filling in with some of the plants I got from Oasis. <laughs> I think my favorite are these Millie eyes, these Euphorbia Millie eyes. I just love the pink. My client loves color and purple and pink and color. So, I'm... oh yeah. So the bridge, we, uh, uh, we dug under to create um, like a really cool cave idea, but we also pushed the bridge over about three or four inches uh, to create larger planting spaces on either side, make it a little more um, even. And we're gonna keep the color of the bridge uh, I think it adds to the feel. Uh, we were contemplating um, painting it, but I don't know. I think it works really well. <sighs> tomorrow, our plan. <laughs> tomorrow, our plan is to continue shoring up with our smaller rubble rock and creating some more little retention walls. And then I'm gonna get crawl under the bridge and uh, adjust some of the boulders that we've placed under there, and 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 then start finding more things around the garden, more art and whatnot to start staging. And then I'm going to the rock yard to pick out rock. And I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get yet, but that's the fun of it. I definitely wanna have a bunch of different mediums and sizes and textures. So yeah, it's just gonna take this to the next level. Do you have any questions, mom? Um, where did you get your plant? I went to Waterwise um, before the project started and had them delivered here. About 30 specimens, the larger things. And then this morning before work, I went to Oasis and I did say that, someone wasn't listening. Uh, I went to Oasis <laughs> and picked out a few flats and then a lot of those really cool aloes that you see right there. Yeah, that was, our, that was my day. And then for lunch, I got to come home to your house and you made us lasagna. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> Look at this echeveria. That gets blasted with the sun, too. It's going to love it. But yeah, I think it's really coming together. I'm super happy. I was very nervous going into it. You've been way less hands-on than you were on my last installation, and I appreciate it. Um, but also, I miss leaning on you a little. <laughs> you know, I... I, um, when I got here today, I was here, of course, yesterday morning at groundbreaking, and, uh, you know, there wasn't much to see, so I didn't figure I'd come back yesterday afternoon, um, figuring that all that they would have done is move dirt around and stage some, some rocks, but when I got here today, I was gobsmacked. I stopped dead in my tracks. I thought I had Hannah figured out and I am absolutely blown away at the evolution of her 
of her instincts for design. Not only has she done an absolutely masterful job of creating the undulations in the soil, which it's hard to get in the video. You know, we're just gonna have to get you all over here in person to see just how really dramatic this is. And, you know, I can't stress out enough, guys, it's everything. Get the soil moving in your installations. It just makes it, takes it absolutely to the next level. Colin made a cave right here, too. And Colin made a cave. Look at that. How cute is that? And look at the little fossils in this. And a little aloe in there. I mean, and this is just not even halfway. I mean, there's still so many details and so much fun stuff for Hannah and Colin and Luke to do. Um, but wow, yeah, I just, I absolutely can't even believe it. It's just absolutely stunning. And this yard is, is huge. And Susan has so many treasures. She's got so much stuff. Look over here, Hannah. It just, some of the things that she pulled out for for Hannah to consider. Look at all of these beautiful. Look at the treasure box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the that's coins. Gonna go, we're gonna be putting this stuff under the bridge somewhere. Blue glass, um, sand dollars, more. It's like a fish skeleton. Yeah, this is another skeleton. It's a blowfish. Look at that. I like the bottles. Thing. And the bottles, right? Just oh gosh, and then, you know, look. So this this is such an exceptional yard. This incredible Harita didn't even make the cut. <laughs> Hasn't even made the cut yet. I mean, that's how that's how many things she has. Would you guys like to see her secret garden? Let's look. This is the ornamental ginger. She's been working all day in here too, or in the whole garden. And then look in here. Oh my gosh, all of the oxygen in here from being surrounded by all of the plants. It's so cool. And the energy in here is so calm. Um, she's got little nieces and nephews that just love to play in here. And I can certainly understand why. Look at that little treasure box. That's so cute. This is like a kid's dream come true. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And look, look at these Martillo cactus. Again, haven't even gotten worked in yet. Balls that haven't been worked in yet. Look at these things. Talavera. There's Talavera everywhere in this yard. Wow, 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 wow. Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this tree stump over here and all the tillandsias this these would be too it'd be too hot over there for the tillandsias unfortunately we're thinking about adding some of the moss though. yeah but some of the moss or maybe something under the under the bridge See all the moss? yeah look at look at that she's also got all the spanish moss but this is the incredible looking stump it's just well, look at this. Yeah. The moss and Tillandsia right out there, right out there in the full sun. So, you know, I mean, what do I know, right? But yeah, I mean, there are just treasures everywhere. Where is that hanging? There's right there. a hanging basket right of right there. Morganium on them. Oh yeah. I was thinking, I wish there was some way we could figure out how to anchor that. Oh, I think like a... Have you really? Yeah. yeah, like an urchin, right? That would, you know, hanging from somewhere. Not sure how that would work, but that's not Morganionum. That's um, that's actually cotyledon. Serpens, right? Very cool. Very cool. I mean, even this, even this ridiculous little aloe here is so cool. Susan, let me borrow a hat. 
And Susan let Hannah borrow a bonnet. She's been wearing it all day long. And then look down here at this treasure trove of goodies. All of this Talavera, all of these pot feet, all of these interesting who's and what's. Fire glass and fish and snails. What's that in there? A tortoise, a Talavera tortoise. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well, I digress, but I really wanted to take a minute to, you know, kind of show you what the borrowed landscape is around here so that you could kind of get a sense of Susan and her, and her personality. Um, here's another perspective of the garden from here. This is lovely. Look at that. Just incredible. Absolutely stunning. So be sure and tune in tomorrow for more. Um, this is going to be a jewel box in just two more days. So this has been Laura, but mostly Hannah with your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.